Hello everyone, just putting on my apron. Um, it's Mixing Monday again. And when I do Mixing Monday, I'm always trying to, uh, there's um, always somebody asking me around what um, they can use for this and that and the other. Um, and as usual, um, Leon has, my business partner has a, um, has a request for me. In South Africa in summer, we struggle with mozzies, mosquitoes. And um, last time when I did a toilet spray for them, um, he was standing at the supermarket going, surely I can make something better. Um, and this time his wife came to the party and she said, we've got mozzies in the house and they were spraying uh, some poisonous thing. And uh, <laughs> she's like, surely Avril can do this. <laughs> I can do many things. But Avril always thinks, um, what have we mixed before that we can use now? So if you go into a camping store, you'll find ranges of specifically citronella products that are in shampoo and in um, soaps, etc., 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 and all kinds of things. But when you're talking mozzie spray, do you want to spray the environment, the air, or do you want to spray it on you? In South Africa, we have both. Um, I'm sure all over the world you do. And... Um, the question is, what are you spraying on yourself, just like with hand sanitizer, and is it good for you? And is the fragrance or the poison or the thing that's keeping the mozzie away going to affect your lungs, etc., etc., etc.? And of course, a lot of these things are not good for the environment. So I'm going to mix you two products, an aerosol for the air and one that can go on, um, that can be sprayed on you. Um, so let's mix now. Okay, so let's carry on here. This is my trusty notebook. I've got this notebook. I've written down stuff. I see I have um, mixed a mozzie spray before for my daughter. Um, and actually what I wanted to say to you, you've already mixed the base for a mozzie spray. If you've mixed my hand sanitizer, um, I've already, I keep um, my perfume, in one of my perfume base bottles, I mix an unfragranced hand sanitizer. And if you've looked at my previous videos or if you go onto my website, you will see there's a, um, a, a recipe, sorry, a recipe. And in here is colloidal silver, glycerine, and then perfumer's alcohol. So this would be a liter, it's less than a liter, but I've already mixed it. So into this liter of perfumer's alcohol, there is 60 milliliters of colloidal silver, and you'll see Normally, um, perfumer's alcohol is quite clear. I don't know if you can see the difference in color. The colloidal silver colors it this color. Not a problem. It's just what colloidal silver does. If you drink too much of colloidal silver, you go blue. <laughs> so that's why. So in a liter of perfumer's alcohol, it's 10 milliliters. So it's two teaspoons of um, glycerine and 60 milliliters of colloidal silver. And why am I using that? Well, if it's good enough to put on your hands as your um, hand sanitizer, then you can use it as a base for the spray on body um, mozzie spray. So all I do, here's about 100 milliliters in here. I've got a little funnel. I'm actually going to move this book out the way. So written your hand sanitizer, 100 milliliters. And then I'm, I'm going to put it into this bottle. I'll put my labels up here. I'm going to put my labels behind me. We'll talk about them now. There's hand sanitizer. Oh, this book is going to get mixed, mixed on. There we go. Hand sanitizer. I hold it up because I just don't want it to go too far over that mark. I'll show you now when it's full. So this is the unfragranced hand sanitizer that I mix in bulk. All right. With your colloidal silver and your glycerine. Remember, if you've got other spray bottles at home, you can just um, uh, reuse them, wash them nicely and reuse them. Don't forget when you wash it, you have to pump water, uh, sudsy water through the pump as well. And if you buy new ones, you cut it a bit longer and you cut it skew so that it rolls at the bottom and it gets all the product out. So you've got your hand sanitizer and fragrance. This one I'm going to make um, with um, citronella and lavender. And I'll tell you why now. 
So I'm going to take my citronella bottle. I've got citronella and lavender. The citronella is um, keeps the mozzies away from you. They don't like the smell. They stay away. Um, the lavender does the same thing. But on top of that, if a mozzie has actually bitten you and you've got an, a bit of inflammation um, and some people get quite infected from them lavender will actually help for that i'm going to be put 10 drops of citronella one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that might have been 11 doesn't matter citronella is quite safe and 10 drops of lavender One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have to tell you, I don't always. I sometimes, if it's if I'm using too much um, citronella, I get a headache. So you can use many things in this that will help for the mozzies. Remember, we do not shake fast like this. We just disturb um, the mixture. And I want to label this before I mix the other one because I might get confused. So in here is 100 ml of the hand sanitizer blend plus 10 drops of lavender and 10 drops of citronella. I like to smell it. So that was wrong. I shouldn't have done that. I like to smell it. So this one you can spray on your arm. Mm, it smells nice. So I like that smell. I'm going to keep it like that. You don't want it too strong. And here's my nice labels that I can write on. And I've got a permanent marker. The pro product's name is Mozzie Spray. And the fragrance is Lavender and Citronella. I'm just going to shorten it. Remember, I make a little la a label as well explaining it all. Just wait for it to dry a bit and you pop it on your bottle. I do it like this, and my handwriting is often neater than this. This one's going to be used in the house and that. But when I make, I do make these products to sell. So if you're interested and you want, I can ship them anywhere in South Africa for you. So <clears throat> you can put that in. Um, lavender is good for anything in the environment and, and uh, kills smells and kills bacteria and antifungal and all kinds of things. And then citronella is good actually for anything in the house um, and is safe with animals. You know, if, you, if you've got fish moths and something, you can spray that spray around your, um, in your kitchen and that. So for an environmental spray, so remember in your book, I've written the 100 ml of hand sanitizer. So then I've put um, the body, I'm going to write your body mozzie, <laughs> body mozzie, and then I've written there 10 drops lavender and 10 drops citronella. Remember your trusty book, you need your book because otherwise just now you won't remember. So now yeah, in this we've put glycerine and colloidal silver that's good for the hands and the body, but in a plain environment spray you don't need it. So all I'm going to add here is oops all i'm going to add here is um perfume base plain perfumers alcohol okay 100 milliliters and you can put 10 to 20 you can even put 30 drops of your essential oil in here because it's not going to touch a person it's actually going into the greater environment of your house Okay, and I have found that the two of the most effective smells are citronella again and eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is really good for a lot of things, including um, dust mite and fish moths and things like that, and is antiviral, antifungal. So you've got this in the environment. The first priority is um, your mozzies but your second priority is everything else so you're not just spraying a poison you're spraying a medicine almost into your heart so i'm going to put 10 because eucalyptus is very strong <clears throat> eucalyptus 10 eucalyptus and i'm going to put 15 citronella one two three four five 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 15. And we're not going to shake. We're just going to disturb. Okay. And now let's spray it into the environment here. Yeah? I'm just going to spray it up here because, yeah, we've got all my oils. Mm, that's actually very pleasant. Oh, now I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> so that's pleasant. So now I know this is the mozzie. I will do the same and put a label on there and then... Leon can come get his two mozzie sprays when we're done. <laughs> so I'm going to write you um, house mozzie. <laughs> house mozzie. And I'm going to say ten, um, uh, 10 drops um, eucalyptus and 15 drops citronella. And that's it. I've got two mozzie sprays. One for the um, body itself and one for the environment this you can spray on your hair if you're at a place we're going on holiday um, sometime to our natal coast and i now know i'm going to mix some of this mozzie these two mozzie sprays because we're going to use it and i don't want to take the poisonous kind so yes that's it we are done um, and i hope you've enjoyed this and um, i'll see you on the next mixing monday <music>